can you get the same benefits from intermittent fasting that you can get from taking one of the newer and very popular weight loss drugs. So we're going to talk about some of the benefits of intermittent fasting. We're going to compare that to some of the benefits of the GLP-1s, which are these weight loss drugs, and help you determine which one you might be a candidate for. So welcome to today's video. My name is Diane Parham. I am the creator of the online course and community, The Intermittent Fasting for Today's Aging Woman, where I teach you how to create a life for yourself where food is no longer a problem for you. And we create a lifestyle for ourselves where we can look and feel our best and do that in our most authentic way. If you're new to our channel, welcome. I always ask that you take a second to hit that subscribe button if this is the content that you are looking for here on YouTube. And if you are a regular viewer, welcome back. I always appreciate spending time with you. So let's first talk about these weight loss drugs. Um, and I want to be very transparent. I have nothing against them. I think that they are an amazing tool for people who are eligible for them, people who have the means to access them and have really gotten to the point in their life where they feel like they have no other options. I love that there are now options for certain people who fall in those categories. And some of these drugs are doing amazing things for people from, you know, appetite control to the obsessive thoughts about food all of the time, which is really that food addiction problem that so many people struggle with. The improved health markers with just reducing body fat and reducing weight and, and having an opportunity to really live a healthy life and do it in a way that is pretty controlled. I do think with more usage and more research, we're going to be pretty impressed and probably pretty amazed at some of the other things that these types of drugs are going to be able to provide for us when we learn how to dose them, we learn how to use them properly, and can really benefit from them in the anti-aging and longevity aspect of life as well. But for the purpose of what we're talking about here, there are so many people in our society who really do suffer with food. Suffering with food is a real problem because we can never fully remove food from our life. We have to learn how to manage ourselves and food, and if there is some sort of chemical imbalance in our body and or our brain, then these drugs have really been that missing link or that bridge that so many people have been able to benefit from, like I said. And if the ultimate goal is to live a happy and healthy life and these drugs are doing that, then that's an amazing opportunity for so many people. But what if you aren't a candidate or what if these drugs aren't covered by your insurance or you don't maybe qualify for your insurance to cover them or maybe it just doesn't fit in your budget. What can you do to get the same kind of benefits as people who maybe are in a different place or different category than you? One of the very common comments I get from women who are probably at about a week and a half in their intermittent fasting for today's aging woman course are amazed at how they are just not hungry, which is one of the benefits of using these GLP-1s, Ozempic, whatever brand name that you might be researching or taking yourself, is the appetite control aspect of it. And a lot of this has to do with what these new weight loss drugs are doing to our brain or for our brain and also our gut, which is also what intermittent fasting does for us. When we take a period of time in our day and we choose not to interrupt our body's own ability to heal itself from the inside, we give it an opportunity to do just that, heal itself. And that healing goes way beyond just weight loss. The healing is our gut and the hormone signaling to our brain about food and nutrient desires. And we simply just do nothing for a certain period of our day and move out of the way of our body and let our body do its own thing. So if you're wanting to lose weight and you want to do it in a way that doesn't involve 
taking a drug or maybe like I said you don't have access to those drugs can intermittent fasting yield you the same results. We're finding that to be very true in our community of women who are taking class. They graduate from class feeling less consumed and obsessed about food because their hunger hormones are now balancing themselves out. They're not running rampant and wild and sending missed signals to their brain. The four hormones that we benefit from the most when we're practicing an intermittent fasting lifestyle are our ghrelin hormones, our insulin hormone, our leptin hormone, and our neuropeptides. All four of those hunger hormones are interconnected and they're communicating with us constantly. And when they are out of balance, it's just like anything else being out of balance in our body. We just don't show up as the best version of ourselves, and we feel very off. When we're in this fasted state, we give our body the opportunity to balance out those hunger hormones. The first one that we notice is our ghrelin because it is audible. We can hear our stomach growl and we can feel the emptiness in our stomach. And we have tricks and things that I teach you inside the intermittent fasting course to control that and feel that sense of empowerment in that state of hungry. We have a saying in our course, hungry is where the magic happens. And that's where we can sit in that ghrelin hormone, let it do its thing, let it balance itself out and we don't panic because we know the end result of that is a very good thing for us. And then our leptin and our insulin and our neuropeptides all start communicating with each other in a more fluid way and they start doing their job more efficiently and effectively. This is where the obsession with food starts to end. This is where feeling in control around food is how you start showing up for yourself. This is where sitting in a state of hungry leaves you with a sense of empowerment and control and this endless amount of energy because your body is turning inward to find what's in storage and giving you the energy that you need without nude food experiences. And the best thing about intermittent fasting is it costs you nothing. No inconvenient trips to the pharmacy, no having to pull out your debit card to pay for a monthly subscription. All you have to do is learn how your body works in a fasted state. Trust your body is going to do the work for you in that fasted state. And then do a little bit of internal work on yourself as to why it is you want your life to change for the better. And this is really where we focus on living a happy and healthy life. Because like I said, food is not going anywhere. It's always going to be a part of our life. But when we feel in control of our own body, and our body is communicating the way it's supposed to be communicating and not sending us these mixed signals when we are around food, we stay in control and then we can reap all the benefits that intermittent fasting has to offer us. One of the other benefits that I don't talk a lot about here with intermittent fasting also is it is a money saving lifestyle. We are marketed to about all this food that we are supposed to be consuming all the time. How we're supposed to start our day with food and then snack throughout the day and what we're supposed to be eating when we're celebrating this and doing that and, and how we reward ourselves with certain things at the end of the night. And when you really lean into that intermittent fasting lifestyle and you trust that your body is going to do the work for you, you will save so much money because you will realize you just don't need all that food that again, we are being marketed to. So in my opinion, I do believe that if you are a candidate for intermittent fasting and maybe not a candidate for some of these new weight loss drugs that are on the market today, intermittent fasting can be your free Ozempic. It can be your free GLP-1. It can be your free weight loss drug. The drug that you are going to create is already within you. You just need to pull it out and trust that it's going to work for you. Now, of course, nothing is easy taking pharmaceutical drugs to help us lose weight or control how it is we show up around food is a behavioral path as well that we need to work on and change. That's not easy. So that takes work if you want to create a lasting change. The same thing with intermittent fasting. It is not easy in the beginning and I think that's what scares a lot of women away is that there is a little bit of discomfort on the front end usually about two or three days and around that fourth day, everything starts to click. Don't let the fact that it's not easy either way 
keep you from the opportunity of healing your body from the inside, healing how it is you show up around food because so many women share with me their biggest struggle is their mental and emotional relationship with food and how food shows up for them in their life and how they show up around food. When we can heal that aspect as well, then fasting just makes sense. When you build your fasting maturity, which is usually around that couple of months of fasting and then realizing those wins that you're getting from it, then you can really ebb and flow your way in and out of a fasting lifestyle because you will trust it and your body will trust it and you will have proof that it does in fact work for you. I believe intermittent fasting is the free Ozempic for those who want to choose that path. And for those who want to choose the path of pharmaceuticals, I think that is okay too. But the reality is not all of us are eligible for that or not all of us have the means to take that path. If you want to learn how to practice intermittent fasting in a mindset way, meaning we're not going to approach it from a diet, we're not going to be restrictive, we're going to learn how our body responds in an environment where we are purposely not going to feed it, and then learn how to feed your body well so that you can thrive through your fasting lifestyle and the life that you want to create for yourself. We do have our course starting this Friday. So depending on when you're watching this video, our courses generally start the first Friday of every month because we wanted to get a course going. This course will start on August 30th, which is just a couple days away. I will always leave a link in the description box below as well as a link right up here in this video so you can get on my email list and you can join when you think it's the right time for you. Look, Money's tight for all of us these days. Why not take a route that you can invest a little bit of you in the front end to learn how your body works for you? That's what we offer you inside the Intermittent Fasting for Today's Aging Woman course. You just rinse and repeat everything that you learn in class and you will be on your merry way. I also have about eight years of intermittent fasting videos available here on my YouTube channel. Please feel free to click around and watch some videos and see if you can get a little insight about intermittent fasting and how we teach it from the mindset approach here in our community as well. We love having you in our community. If you've graduated from class, please let me know in the comment section below. We love to know the month and the year, if you remember, uh, as your graduate sort of status. If you haven't taken class, but you're considering it, also let me know in the comment section below. I wanna keep an eye out for you in our comment section. And as always, if you have any questions for me, please feel free to leave them in the comment section.